Welcome back to the Hiking Outdoor Family channel. Today we're going to be taking our Tech Tech folding kayaks out for a paddle in the Lewis Rehoboth Canal in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Before we get started, I wanted to show you what the inside of the Tech Tech folding kayak looks like. Let's hit the water. We're launching today from the dock at Grove Park in Rehoboth Beach. The canal dock is open from sunup to sundown. There's lots of parking here at the Grove Park area. If you visit during the summer season, there is a parking charge between certain hours. Um, we're here in the spring, it's off season, so we can park in that lot for free. So the Grove Park dock has two different boat slips where you can tie up your boat for about 30 minutes. It also offers a kayak launch. And this dock was recently built in 2021 and it is such a nice amenity. It's really a perfect place to launch a kayak and get into the canal. Let's talk about the history of the Lewis Rehoboth Canal. So the idea of creating a canal here was first proposed in 1803 as a way to connect the Broadkill River to the Rehoboth Bay. The canal construction wasn't started until 1913 by the Army Corps of Engineers. The canal was created to ship freight. It was a way to access the sea for the sawmills and the area farmers. A cannery was started. Unfortunately, not long after the completion of the canal, it really stopped being used for shipping goods. At that point in time, most goods are being shipped by railways and roadways, and the canal had been abandoned except for recreational boating. Paddling the Lewis Rehoboth Canal is really beautiful and we were able to observe lots of wildlife. There's fish and crabs that live in the canal. On the pilings and the bridges you can see barnacles and zebra mussels growing. You can often spot birds soaring over the water. We decided to paddle against the current and then we thought that we would float easily back to the dock when we were done. That worked out really well. The water level and current changes in the canal with the tides. There are bigger boats passing through the canal, but everybody was courteous and they slowed down as they passed us while we were kayaking. Our Tuck Tech folding kayaks did really well with the current and when a small wake was made by the passing boats, it really was no trouble. Thanks so much for watching our video today. We are so glad to see that the Lewis Rehoboth Canal is still being used by boaters and people like us who are kayaking. It's really a great place for leisure boating. If you're interested in learning more about our Tuck Tech folding kayaks, I'm going to put a link to our review video at the end of this video. Also, feel free to go to our channel and we have several other kayaking videos so you can see how the folding kayaks performed on a pond or in the bay.
Thanks for watching.